Well, hello friends, beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading, and today is Wednesday, July 28th of 2022. So, wait, is it Wednesday or is it Thursday? It's Thursday, Thursday, my bad. <laughs> my days are running together, just kidding, no. Um, it's Thursday, thriving Thursday, and... Uh, yeah, I am out here with my dad and sisters and helping him to recover from his stroke. So, yeah, it's been good. Also, today is the new moon in Leo. So, there's a lot of new moon energy, a lot of restarts, new beginnings, and... Uh, yeah, fresh new moon energy, so that's also really great, and I'm hoping to help my dad with his own restart and reset and everything, so I feel like it's the perfect time that I came here to, yeah, be with him, so, okay, let's see. All of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message. So, if your guides have led you here, your spirit, your ancestors, your higher self, the divine, or even if someone has shared this video with you and you decided to watch it, then there is something here for you. So, I'm in a different location today. Yesterday I was outside on the porch. Today I'm in my room trying it out, see how it goes. Tomorrow I'll probably try the backyard. <laughs> and so, yeah, there's locations, different locations, depending on the location of my rotation, huh? <laughs> so, let's, come on, focus. There we go. Let's give the deck a split. Oops, okay. We are on an uneven surface, so. All right. Oh, that card, did you see that? Wow. Okay. So, look at we that, that card popped out. There was no way that I was not going to take it. So, for today, we have card number 81, Third Eye Chakra Affirmation. So it's Third Eye Thursday. <laughs> it says, I am connected with my higher self. So, I am connected with my higher self. So, I feel this card is coming out just to remind us that we are always connected with our higher self. And the more that we affirm that, the more that we will see within our physical world how we are connected how deeply we connect with our inner world so I feel that however this applies to you oh my alarm is going off okay there we go <laughs> that was interesting my alarm has never once gone off during a reading because I thought that I had silenced both of them and my alarm just went off so that's super interesting but so however that applies to you in your own journey then you should know so what alarms are going off for you in your own life like what is there that's there to try to remind you to do something or to wake up <laughs> you know so yeah that was kind of perfect actually that it went off um, just right now when it did so yeah and the way that this card flipped out I feel that it was like boldly stating that it it was the one for today so I also feel that this is our higher self guiding us to connect with it so like I said before we're always connected to our higher self 
It's whether or not we are acknowledging it that makes the difference. And so once you start to acknowledge the connection that you have with your higher self, the more you will see your higher self come and apply into your physical world. Because remember that it's what we think about it's what we think about within ourselves that plays out into the outer into the physical world. So it's not about oh I'm and I'm looking out my window right now. Didn't mean to interrupt myself, but there's a little cardinal outside just hopping down the street. And so I've seen cardinals before and everything in Florida, but I haven't seen them as like socially, I guess. Like they're just out like hopping down the street and like landing on the power line. So I guess it's just this different area that they're that I'm seeing them in that they are like closer around me. And so yeah, I think that it's super cute and amazing. They're great signs. So, anyways, I totally lost my train of thought, but we are all connected always with our higher self. So, I feel this card is coming out just to remind you and to remind all of us to acknowledge our higher self, acknowledge that we have a divine connection to spirit, acknowledge that you are within yourself, that you are divine. So if, you know, if you've never thought that, or if no one has ever told you that, then I am telling you it today. You are divine. You are connected with your higher self. You do have a, your best version out there and so it's really just about getting in alignment with that so 81 is a 9 adds up to a 9 and 9s are the last step right before everything restarts so 9 is the last number right before 10 but 10 is technically a 1 a 0 and a 1 so 10 is a restart, the new beginning, and this 9, 9 is a step, like, right before a new cycle starts, so, so take an observe, like, observe into yourself and see how that 9, like, what is it that you are ready to start a new cycle in, the new moon is a new cycle, it's a new moon cycle, so, you know, like we're getting all of this energy right now of starting again. So look into your own journey and see how this applies to you. But remember that you are always connected with your higher self and affirm that so that you can start to have a deeper connection with your higher self and bring that into your physical world. So... That is the message for this Third Eye Thursday. <laughs> I hope you all resonated and enjoyed this message. And if you did, then please feel free to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below if you so choose. So I thank you once again for stopping by my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and I will see you in the next one.